This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Mary Nelson with 3 News Now. The search of former President Donald Trump's Florida home on Monday conducted by the FBI. And today, the agency's director was in Omaha. Christopher Ray made a rare visit to our local field office. It's the first since former director James Comey visited in 2014. Ray wouldn't share details on the search at Mar-a-Lago. He did speak to a number of threats to law enforcement, including threats against the agents who conducted the search. A Nebraska State Senator's tweet about mandating vasectomies in reaction to the overturning of Roe v. Wade has now gone viral. In his post, Republican John McAllister wrote, I am supporting legislation to mandate vasectomies for all Nebraska males. Cash rewards will be offered to people who turn in men who refuse to comply. If we are going to control women's bodies, we may as well go all the way with the authoritarianism. Well, he has since said he's not serious, but thinks it's just as ludicrous as the government telling women what to do with their bodies. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swain. Mid 60s overnight, comfortable and mostly clear. A lot of starshine and a lot of moonlight uh, from a growing moon. So if you have plans to try to check out the uh, meteor shower, it peaks here by the end of the week. The Perseid meteor shower have to compete with the moon a bit, but if you get away from city lights, it'd be a good option from the mid 60s back to the mid 90s. Thursday comes in with another round of heat, another round of sunshine, high pressure and control. A product of uh, dry sinking air is all the sunshine that we have through the end of the week. Winds out of the south for now, mainly sunny skies the next three days. Temperatures build as a result 98 by the time we get to Saturday 97 on Sunday. We bring back some rain chances, a welcome sight for many from the mid 90s back to the mid 80s. A few clouds work their way in and rain chances keep us cooler. Low 80s by Wednesday, a break from the heat for now.